back to the show. This week, Donald Trump did something really disgusting, even for him. He touched Ted Cruz. <laughs> Ted was so grateful, he oozed his thank you mucus. But this was even more disgusting. The Trump administration reportedly is taking steps to remove all legal protection for transgender Americans. The New York Times says the Department of Health and Human Services is working to create a legal definition of sex. It would, quote, define sex as either male or female, unchangeable, and determined by the genitals that a person is born with. It's really something that this dumpo has the gall to tell trans and gender nonconforming people that their gender identity isn't authentic. He doesn't even have a true self. Deep down, he's just a flesh sack of coins, gunk, and porn DVDs. If he ever did actual self-reflection, he would disintegrate into a pile of dry, dusty cum. I don't know why it's so hard for Republicans to understand that gender and sex are two different things. Gender identity is a person's internal sense of being a man, a woman, some combination of both, or neither. Sex is that sloshy thing your wife hates doing with you. <laughs> and while we're at it, quote, unquote, biological sex is determined by a doctor taking a glance at a baby's hoo-ha for one second, which means that Trump thinks the best possible system is this fucking guy inspecting baby genitals. <laughs> for someone who hasn't seen his own junk in years, <laughs> Trump sure seems obsessed with everyone else's. Actually. Let's get real. Mike Pence is obsessed with everyone else's junk. Donald Trump barely knows enough about trans people to hate them. Yes, about your promise to protect transgender Americans? Are you keeping up on that? We're looking at it. We have a lot of different uh, concepts right now. Uh, they have a lot of different things happening with respect to transgender right now. You know that as well as I do. And we're looking at it very seriously. We're looking at it very seriously is what Trump says when he does not know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> transgender is an adjective, not a noun. With respect to transgender right now is straight up nonsense. Look, if you're gonna destroy people's lives, at least bother to learn the word. The thing is, bad Santa actually did promise to protect trans Americans. I will do everything in my power to protect our LGBTQ citizens. Oh, well, he didn't really mean that, huh? What gave it away, that he said LGBTQ, like a three-year-old spelling his name for the first time? Or maybe it was how his administration started chipping away at trans rights the literal moment they got into office. The Trump administration ended federal protection for transgender students that allowed them to use school bathrooms matching their gender identities. The United States government will not accept or allow transgender individuals to serve in any capacity in the U.S. military. The Justice Department released a memo saying that the Civil Rights Act does not protect transgender people from discrimination at work. The Bureau of Prisons rolled back measures that prevented transgender prisoners from being harassed, assaulted, or sexually abused. These new rules advise to use biological sex as the initial determination on where to place trans inmates. In less than two years, the Trump administration has made it less safe to be trans at school, at work, in the military, and in prison. That's pretty much all the places. But the good news is Mike Pence is now throwing your baby a mandatory gender reveal party. Mike Pompeo must have taken a break from banning dancing in his town because he found time to make the language on the State Department website more transphobic. And all this rhetoric doesn't just hurt trans people when they interact with the state. Believe it or not, the government trying to erase you legally has has some emotional consequences as well. Whether or not it becomes the law of the land is having an impact. There are trans people struggling with their identities, haven't come out yet, thinking about whether this is something they can even bring to their parents, whether they're going to be at risk of being thrown out of the house, cut off of financial support, whether they can survive this initial discussion when they hear this at the dinner table. And if you're in that situation, I am so sorry. Please know it's not like that everywhere. If you were at my dinner table, all we'd be talking about is my skin tags. You would not believe where I have them. <laughs> it has never been easy for trans people in this country, but their lives have gotten much worse under Trump. But despite all the hate thrown their way, they're still standing up.
we won't be erased. We're going to say loud and clear to this administration that we are going nowhere. We, the LGBTQ community is celebrating 50 years next year mm. from Stonewall. We've got a long history. We are going to get through this. Hell yes, they will. And cis people, we need to stand with them. Transgender people are real and normal and they deserve so much more than this. And hey, if Donald Trump really, really wants to pretend like someone doesn't exist, Pick Ted Cruz. That's how I get through the day. We'll be right back.